Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Stacey and today's video is going to be all the books that I have recently read. Now I know I don't talk a lot about the books that I read simply because I think I just absolutely suck at reviewing books. Um, but today I'm going to just give it my best shot and hopefully I can make something of this video. Um, yeah. Now usually when I review my books I don't put them in any particular order but I think this time I'm going to. I'm going to save my favorite ones for last. So the first book I'd like to talk about is called I Found You by Lisa Jewell. Now I believe this is the first book I've ever read by her before and I've heard amazing things um, but to be honest I felt actually really let down by this book. I don't know if I had really high hopes going into it thinking that it was going to be um, absolutely amazing. It was going to blow, blow it out of the water but yeah I was disappointed. Okay so technically this book follows three different timelines. The first one is Alice. She uh, owns this beach house and one day she goes outside and she sees this man sitting there and she kind of goes up to him and she you know tries to uh, strike up a conversation with him but this man has no idea what his name is, who he is, or even how he got there. Okay so the second timeline we follow Technically, it's not really a timeline. I guess it's just a different um, point of view, different story. Uh, but the second one is about a woman. Her name is Lily. Um, she's a newlywed. One day, her husband fails to return home from work. Um, she contacts the police uh, just to find out that technically this man never existed. They have, like, no record of him whatsoever. Okay, and the third story, um, point of view, timeline, whatever you want to call it, um, we follow two teenagers by the name of Christy and Gary and they're actually on summer vacation together. Uh, they're brother and sister um, and one day Christy meets this young man and her brother Gary is a little cautious of him. Uh, she or he just doesn't feel right about this guy and you know he's taken an interest in his sister and he just feels very uncomfortable about the situation. Okay so all three of these stories eventually all um, come together, they're all connected together. Okay, so for me I found this book to be um, very slow paced. Uh, for me, I like my thrillers to be um, lots of twists and turns. Uh, I'm gonna say most people like that. Um, but for me this was just a very slow moving book. Now I did end up liking how all three of these stories came together and how they were all connected. I believe I technically gave it three and a half stars, but on Goodreads I bumped it up to four um, just because of how I liked how everything just all came together. Um, other than that though, I was expecting so much more from this book um, just because of the way people hype it up, um, well hype up the author. I just, yeah, I expected so much more and I feel very let down. So the next books I read are actually part of a trilogy. I finally got around to reading this. I've been wanting to read it forever. Um, but anyways, I read To All the Boys I Loved Before, P.S. I Still Love You, and Always and Forever, Laura Jean, and all three of these are by Jenny Han. So if you're not familiar with what these books are about, we follow our main character, Laura Jean, and she has crushes on these five different boys, and she decides that she's going to write these letters to them with no intention of actually delivering them to these boys. But anyways, it's just her way of getting her feelings out and down on paper and she just seals them up in an envelope, puts them in a box and she just kind of hides it in her closet, um, you know, like never to be found. And then one day these letters actually get delivered to all five of these guys without her knowledge and the story just basically begins from there. Now the first one out of the trilogy here I really enjoyed. I ended up giving it four stars. Um, I just I thought it was cute. I thought it was fun. I just really enjoyed it. As far as the other two, P.S. I still love you. Um, I'm gonna say I felt pretty much the same about this one as the first one. I mean they're just cute, fun, fluffy reads. It's nothing groundbreaking or anything. Just a perfect summer read. But then I got to book three and I absolutely 
hated it. Um, it was just boring. I felt like nothing happened. The first two books, I felt like there was always something going on. Um, as far as the third book, I think this one just dragged out too long. I remember being partway through it and thinking, why the hell did I pick up a YA book? Um, I'm 40 years old. I'm thinking like, this is just not, this is not my jam. This is not my thing. It actually has me questioning whether I really enjoy reading young adults. So the first two books, I believe I gave four stars and I think I was, as far as the second one, I think I was pretty generous with that one. Um, and the third book I ended up giving three stars. So anyways, I feel like these books just were not for me. Um, it doesn't mean that you're not going to like them. Maybe you will if you haven't read them. I don't know. I have really no intention of keeping them. I'm probably going to sell them and hopefully they will go to a good home. Okay, so the next two I'd like to talk about are actually two graphic novels, and I was lucky enough to get them from NetGalley, so thank you so much for allowing me to share my honest reviews on them. So the first one is called Sweet Valley High, and I actually loved reading these when I was younger, so I was super stoked to find out that they had made it into a graphic novel, and when I saw it on NetGalley, I'm like... Yes, please. Okay, so after reading this, I have really like mixed feelings. I went into it so excited and there's parts of me that say, yeah, it was really good and I really enjoyed it. And then there's parts of me that are like, mm, I really didn't care for it. So I'm going to have a hard time reviewing this because I honestly don't know where I stand. Okay, so I guess I can start off with the negatives um, and basically some of the things I didn't like about it. Uh, if you followed these books at all before in the past, you'll know that it follows two twins. Now, when you're showing that in a graphic novel, obviously twins look alike. And it was actually really hard to tell the difference between the two sisters at first. Um, it took me a while, so I think at the very beginning of the book I was really confused because I didn't know which sister I was following. I did feel that the story was very cliche. Um, other than that, I think the storyline was just very underwhelming. It did nothing for me and thinking back on it now, I don't even know if I could tell you exactly what the storyline was. I think that speaks volumes that if I can't remember. It... Now the things that I did love about it, um, I really did like the graphics. I am a person who likes colorful graphics and I think they did um, a spot on job with that. That was just really well done. I don't know what else to say. Um, if you're a fan of Sweet Valley High, like myself, if you're a fan of graphic novels, I would suggest checking this out. Who knows? Maybe you'll like it more than I did. Now, <laughs> I did end up giving this three stars. But I feel quite confident that I would stand behind the idea that I would actually still go out and buy it, even though I only gave it three stars. I'm hoping there's going to be more to the series. I mean, how many books were made? So I'd like to think there's more than one graphic novel. I don't know. Don't quote me on it. Um, but yeah, I see where I stand with my mixed feelings. I gave it three stars, but I'm still going to go out and buy it when it comes out. So the next graphic novel I read, also from NetGalley, is called Mooncakes. So to be honest, the only reason I picked this one up is because there was so much talk about it. Um, reading the description, I probably wouldn't have tried it. But again, BookTube made me do it. I decided to read it and I absolutely loved it. I definitely think this is going to be the perfect graphic novel to read around Halloween. Uh, especially if you are a fan of anything magic and anything to do with witches, this is going to be right up your alley. Um, and again, the same as the last one, I love the graphics on this one. Um, I am a fan of graphic novels that are very colorful and I think this one was just perfect. Kudos to the person who friggin illustrated this because I think you did an amazing job. 
So I ended up giving this graphic novel four stars and I will definitely go out and buy it as soon as it's released and I might possibly read it again in October. Okay, so the next three books I want to talk about are probably my three favorites that I have read in probably the last three months. Um, so the first one is called The Breakdown by B.A. Paris. Now I have read another B.A. Paris book before, Behind Closed Doors, and I really enjoyed that one. And I definitely really enjoyed this one. I ended up giving it five stars. Okay, so in this book we follow our main character, Cass, and she's driving home late one night and she sees this vehicle that's, you know, kind of pulled over off to the side of the road. And she decides she's going to pull over too and just make sure the person's okay. And then she starts, you know, she's sitting in her vehicle and she's kind of second guessing whether she should. She thinks it might be a little bit dangerous and she doesn't know who's in this vehicle. So she ends up pulling away without even asking if this person's okay. She finds out the following day that this person was found, this vehicle was found, and this person was found dead. Um, so she's feeling pretty guilty now. And then it seems after this has happened, she feels like she starts um, forgetting things. Uh, she forgets to take her pills, she's forgetting uh, her alarm code, um, just stuff like that. Um, and then she's also getting these, um, these phone calls. And they're just silent phone calls, nobody's saying anything, and you know, she's kind of feeling a little uneasy about that. Uh, and then she's also getting the feeling that someone is watching her. Now reading this book I thought I had it all figured out especially when they're like oh well, she's forgetting this and she's forgetting that and I'm feeling like all tough and mighty because yeah you know I freaking figured out the book and I'm smart and no I did not figure out the book not at all. <laughs> um, which actually makes it that much more better because the plot twists that happened, did not see it coming. Um, the end of this book, I loved, I loved, I loved, I loved, I loved. Um, it's just a little bit of revenge and it was just perfect. I love this book, five stars. If you haven't read it yet, go out and pick it up, read it. I just loved it. Okay, so another book I wanna talk about is called Confessions. And, oh my god, if you guys haven't read this yet, before I even talk about it, you need to go out and buy it. Or get it from the library, or whatever. Because this book is amazing. Another five-star book. And actually, I believe it's still on Book Outlet right now. It's like $4 Canadian. Don't know how much that is US. $3? I don't know. Seriously, go buy it. Um, anyways. So essentially what this book is about, um, we follow a teacher and her daughter has been murdered by two of her students. I know, that's terrible in itself. And it's just basically this teacher seeking out revenge. So if you're a person who loves um, reading about revenge, this book is perfect for you. I cannot tell you how much I love this book. It's one hell of a ride. Um, there are so many twists and turns you will not see coming. Um, I remember reading to the end of the first chapter and my mouth actually dropped. I wish I had caught it on camera because it just like dropped. Now this book is actually told from, I believe it's either five or six different perspectives. Um, so we start off with the teacher and she's just explaining how she came to find out who the students were that murdered her daughter. Her daughter, her son, I can't remember. Doesn't matter. And then we follow the perspective from the two students. I believe there is the students, the one student's sister. I can't remember the other ones, but it just kind of like ties the whole story in and why these two students decided to commit this murder. And for a split second, you're your heart breaks for these students and you you understand why they did it and you have a little bit of yourself that is feeling guilty for them. Um, you feel bad, but I mean, come on, they committed murder. Anyways, enough ramble. Just pick up this book. I loved it. It's definitely going to be on my top list of books I read this year. 
just go out and buy it. Okay, so the last book I want to talk about was definitely my favorite book, probably for the whole entire year. I cannot stop thinking about this book. I love it. I'm going, it's going to be one of those books that I just read again and again. I'm sure you want to know what it is. The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. Um, you girls did an amazing job writing this book. Not only do I love it, I am in love with it. This book was just perfect. Um, I have never read a, well, I guess it's fair to say I probably really haven't read too many rom-coms, but uh, I have yet to read a book that actually makes me laugh out loud. And this book did. I loved it. Oh, I'm not going to hurry. My battery's going to die. Yes. So this book is about this girl. I can't remember her name. There's so much pressure. Olive. Okay, so I'm going to hurry up. My battery's going to die. But anyways, we follow uh, the main character, Olive. Her sister is getting married and her sister's future husband, his brother, he does not get along with Olive. Long story short, at the wedding, everybody gets food poisoning except for Olive and the groom's brother. They end up taking the honeymoon for the bride and groom. I just loved everything about this book. It was so funny. Like I said, laugh out loud funny. I love the relationship between Olive and I can't think of his name. And Ethan. I loved the hate to love. I loved it. I loved that whole dy dynamic. And see, this is why I suck at giving book reviews because I just loved it. It's just perfect in every way. I just don't know what to say about it. It just, it made me laugh. It just warmed my heart. I just love the story. I love the characters. I love the relationship and how it grew and it's worth all the hype. Just pick it up and read it. I guarantee you'll love it too. So I'm sorry for rushing that. My battery's gonna die. I'm rambling too much. Anyways, if you've read any of these books, let me know in the comments below. Would love to hear your thoughts and feelings on them. Let's strike up some conversation. Uh, what books did you read this summer that you absolutely loved? Maybe you want to recommend something to me that you think uh, if I read these books that I'll, you know, love another book. So that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, happy reading. Bye!